Hey, what's up guys? Ed here with another update on my computer. I haven't done one for a bit, um, but yeah, I've made a few upgrades and moved my SSD to a really cool location. Uh, but anyway, basically I've got the new Corsair individually sleeved cables, which look pretty sick. Uh, £55, so unless you're like quite enthusiastic about how your build looks, I wouldn't recommend them. But yeah, they do look really good, so... Just depends if you're a nerd like me and want them sort of things. Uh, let's take the side panel off. Now, as you can see here, I've uh, got all the cables going through there, and then they go into the graphics card, motherboard one, and the CPU power up there. Um, yeah, for those of you who haven't seen my other builds, Saber 2C77 motherboard with an i5 called by um, a H60. Uh, this has now got two SP120 fans, which are optimized for radiators, uh, hence SP meaning static pressure, which will move more air through your radiator, which um, obviously cools the water in the radiator quick, the water in the loop faster, sorry, which will make the CPU cooler, which means more more headroom for overclocking. Uh, so anyway. Basically here is a cable management hole for if you have your drive bays mounted around here. But instead of decided with SSDs, they're really small and it's quite cool how you can mount them anywhere. So I've got it like in this hole here, which is pretty cool. Like it's just a unique way of mounting it really. Even though a couple of my friends well, I think one of my friends copied me, but obviously haven't done as good a job as me because I'm just a pro. Um, I don't know if I've made a video actually of this in the AX750 power supply. If I haven't, then there it is. Um, also got an Ethernet card because, as you can now see, I actually have the shitty Talk Talk router in my room. Oh yeah, and I also got this external 250 gigabyte hard drive because my SSD was getting full, and I don't want any like performance issues with my SSD. I'd rather just have my SSD as empty as possible so it runs as fast as possible uh, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance memory and the uh, XFS very X why do I always have a problem saying this XFX Radeon 7870 uh, really nice card plays Battlefield and Ultra all that good stuff uh, looks really good from underneath it's got like an aluminium finish very nice uh, got the NZXT lighting strip, which like is kind of a bit fucked up, but you can see it hanging down there. Uh, we might get the Bit Phoenix LED strip, but who knows? Uh, got the 200 millimeter fan in the front. Uh, the case is Corsair, Obs I think it's Obsidian 650D. Really nice case. Got the hot slot bay there. Uh, you got your IO here, and then you got a uh, four five and a quarter inch bays and then you have a fan filter which is really useful when you can actually get it off so all the dust gets caught in there and then you can just go and wash that or whatever so not minimal dust gets inside of your computer and up there we've got two Antec 140mm fans um, exhausting the air out of the case uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much covered everything in the build at the moment, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe and leave a like on the video, and comment, see what I could, if you want me to improve anything. Give me some suggestions, I'm thinking of getting a second graphics card, and then maybe a third monitor. Um, just give you a quick pan, I won't go in detail on anything on the desk, but as you can see, you're going with the black and blue theme. Yeah, so I guess that's the end of this video, and I'll see you guys later.